Okay. So there are armies over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let my reinforcing army arrive and then I'll sally forth. So I'll get the men ready to. We're doing their chanting already. Look at this general. Over here somewhere, I'll do. The war dogs over here, the head hurlers over here. There's the rest of my army. We've got these couple units of chariots. Hmm. It's being a pain in the ass to put down. One just go somewhere. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Stupid settlements. These guys, these guys, and cavalry. I think that is everyone. Every unit. There we go. Gonna end deployment and start the battle. Eager for the taste of enemy blood. Reinforcements have arrived on time. That's nice. No, oh, I'm looking the wrong way. The town's this way. I was going to say, that that's a very steep hill. But no, they're coming in from this direction. It looks like we're going to have more warband and more swordsmen, head hurlers, extra chariots, and a general to work with. Now, I'm going to have to be careful because it looks like they're trying to intercept my men. Keep the general inside. Get this cavalry outside and the chariots outside. The head hurlers and the warhounds. If they try and intercept over there, then I'm gonna have to just <laughs> hold out with them as best I can. So let's set up the defensive line. Second general. As soon as he gets his ass onto the battlefield. I think they're just. It looks like they might be just be re reforming. Not actually going to attack my own other army. Possibly. Or are they running away? No, they're not. I was going to say, if they're running away again. Right, let's use the uh, chariots to skirmish with these. Uh, I think these are principes. Yeah, principes there. Oh, it looks like they might be retreating, actually. They need to make up their bloody minds. Running down the hill. Let's just charge into the back of them with these chariots. See if that breaks them. They're only Hastati. They're being shot in the back by loads of arrows. They're frightened by the chariots. So if the chariots suddenly ram them, then I think they possibly might rout. Or they'll end up killing a lot of my chariots. They're wavering. Come on, just route already. Mm, I'm not sure what these Hestasi are doing. To be honest. And oh, now they're now they're routing. Okay, let's destroy that unit. Need to be careful with this general unit. Oh crap. 
Pila. Pila! <laughs> Not what I was planning for. And um, what's this on the left? Uh, some ballistas. Oh, okay. Let's kill them. Is the general to hit the uh, Prince Pays. Looks like most of the army has retreated down the hill. And most of them will probably get away. But not before I take out a couple of units at least. They're shaken and very tired. Okay, chariots don't stop there, what are you doing? Okay, we're going to try that again, maybe in a more open setting, not get stuck on the trees, might be a good idea. These are the most boring battles ever, because the AI is just running away every time, and I have no idea why. Okay, one last charge. Let's see how well we can do. This is my general unit, I'm going to have to be very careful. But uh, let's just let them ram them. Possibly break them around. Unfortunately, it doesn't knock over Prince Pays because it's so heavily armoured. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, we're going to just chop these up. Get rid of a Prince Pay unit. That'll do nicely. Gonna stop these guys attacking and let my general finish the job. There we go. Okay, so that pushed them back to where? I have no idea. Could be over here somewhere. The nearest neighbouring settlement for them would be, no, not Suggesta, over here. Aretium, is that? Oh, well, at least we held out from the siege. Now we can go ahead and take care of Amulius Julius. <laughs> That's such a funny name. Sinfoi with his eight command. What a beast. Let's fight this on the battle map. the enemy that's what fear does to weaklings shall we show them what swords can do to their skulls yes we should right we need to get up to the top of this hill as quickly as possible it's gonna be playing king of the hill looks like I'm gonna go with thicker units than normal and I'm gonna go with a slightly strange formation just so I can get as far up the hill as I need to be to begin with. The swordsmen bunched up in the middle. All band on the right. Head hurlers to think about. And the slingers of course can join them. Got one general, two general, warhounds, uh, swordsmen. All these over to the left. Cavalry. Put them over to the right. I think that's a shallower incline. And of course, the chariots at the back. They can go over to the left. Actually, mm, I might put them over to the right with the other cavalry. Okay, that'll do. This lot can be put into a group. And pushed up the hill. So, we've got to deal with three units of Principes, I think. One's quite depleted. We've got one unit of Estati to deal with, uh, some Roman archers, uh, three Equites, a Roman general, and war dogs. Uh, 
And what I might do is use this general with my barbarian cavalry to take care of their equites on the right. I can send a warband unit or a unit of barbarian mercenaries to take care of the one on the left. And uh, we need to really spread out these units because they're being peppered to hell. Because I have them so <laughs> close together. That was kind of stupid. But uh, it's fixed itself, hopefully. These warband. Gonna outnumber them so heavily. Looks like I've already routed a lot of them. Okay, that goes one, you know, friend space. Okay, this barbarian cavalry mercenary unit will absorb the charge and then my cavalry can, or my chariots can come in and behind and just slaughter them. Wow, this is a slaughter. Wow. <laughs> oh my lord. I'm gonna run straight into the enemy here. Just running them down. This is no longer a battle, this is a hunt. Gonna continue it. Just so that we can mow down the rest of these Romans. Cowardly Romans that they are. Need to die. They do not deserve to live. So we're gonna continue to kill as many as we can. The Equites will unfortunately get away because it doesn't look like I'll be able to catch them in time. But the rest of the units, well, they have no excuse to get away. And who would have thought that the AI have a plus four morale bonus on me? <laughs> I think it's just purely because the chariots do so much damage or so much uh, like morale shock value that like when my general actually hit straight into those cavalry on the right flank, it just made them flee completely. And where the, one of the Prince Pay units that was smaller had also routed, um, it caused, because it's quite an elite unit, it caused the lesser elite units to route with it. So kind of ch chain routed completely. I think we're nearly done here. Speed it up and kill the last few units. There we go. Victory. Clear victory. Wipe them out completely. Tons of damage done there. Cool. That is a very, very dead unit. We get Galloper. Command and control on the battlefield relies on orders getting through. Plus one command when attacking. Wow, this guy's going to have plus nine attack when attacking now. Wow. Okay. So, I'm hoping with this army that I'll be able to take out this army. This army is a lot more experienced in terms of morale and in units, just in terms of... They have warband. I don't know. I think I'll run over this army purely because it's got so many skir skirmishes in it. Oh well. I think it's time to move the men out of the fort. The cowards can stop hiding behind their walls. And we're going to take care of this Gallic army made of warband. Should be pretty easy. So let's fight it on the battle map. a good day to die, but better still to live. Yeah, just wait for the blizzard to go away because then I can make more use of my missile units. The head hurlers up the front. 
We basically just need to make a wall. They're going to just have a wall like me, so. Let's make one. There we go. Those men just in front. Gonna get a, the group of swordsmen, gonna leave them on the left. Cavalry and the chariots can stay on the left as well. What's this over here that I've missed? Oh, just some extra barbarian mercenaries. And I think that is pretty much my whole army sorted right there. It's a nice open playing field. The reason I have so many mercs in this army is just because I needed to buy them desperately to kill the Romans, so hopefully they will help me here. Right, let's uh, consolidate these guys into a group. And we'll move up towards them. Meanwhile on the left, I'll move forward these units. These cavalry can uh, hit the lines in the back once the battle started. And these chariots can provide some fire with their archers. Basically just going to be my army war cries, their army war cries and then we both engage each other. But I should win pretty convincingly. Run my arm into position. The head hellers should be in range shortly. Which I'm just going to pause it here because I need to uh, war cry. So let's deselect any unit that can't. Let them war cry. We can engage. These units in the center can help out where they are needed. Okay, break it through the right flank. I think the left flank may be broken as well soon. Oh, never mind. Their general just pushed through one of my units. So I'm going to use my general to take out his general. I think chariots kind of beat horses in a lot of ways. Just gotta be careful where my general is. He's he's back here, that's fine. There we go. Enemy warlord is dead, slain by your brave warriors. So my general killed their general. Job done. Cavalry hit their infantry over there and can now sh sh come in behind these front lines. Oh, this is gonna be a devastating charge. Oh, the morale broke before they even got there. Oh, <laughs> ouchies. These poor guys. Don't know what hit them. Mercenaries doing me proud. Chasing down this warband unit basically running off the field. I think it's got a retreat command. That's why the battle hasn't ended yet. But it allows my uh, other units enough time to um, run after what's left. These light chariots I'm going to tell to uh, chase after this warband unit as well. Because I don't want them getting away with any men, to be honest.
The enemy flee from the field like frightened goats. I just tapped them and they just they just routed. Like they were trying to get off the field in peace, but I'm not gonna let them go. <laughs> oh, these chariots, man! Could you imagine if there was like the Shogun Two Blood Pack on this? Jeez, that'd be just legs and arms flying everywhere and heads. Sites are at leg height though. There'll be lots of legs flying everywhere. Okay, let's just speed this up. Kill the rest of the units. And that's pretty much it. Victory. Job done. Clear victory. Wiped out that army. The ghouls are in bad shape. We shall roll. Nice. Okay, while this army... Um, I'm going to leave them on the bridge. Because that way, if they attack me then, I have a good chance of defending either way. Um, the Then, also, it, it leaves them in a decent pos defensive position for when the faction air catches up Simfwa. So... It's a good place to leave them, I think. Enemy army routes. Now, they could send an army just occupy this fort, which would be a pain in the ass, but I'm sure they won't. I think they're more worried about what's going to happen here. Um, this Roman army needs to die. Can't do that this turn, though. I think that is everything done. Actually, we can move this general. Moving him over to create a watchtower. I'm going to continue to buy appropriate mercenaries. And where I can over here, I'll try and retrain some of my units, get them back to full capacity. I think there must be a rebel army standing on this watchtower, which might need taken care of. So I'm going to leave one of the units that I know is being replenished. I'm going to take my army out and I'm going to take care of the rebels because... Um, I want to make use of this watchtower. It will give me valuable information on the area. Um, let's see how much this costs to bribe. 11,000 denarii. Uh, no thank you. You only have six units in there. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Gonna get my diplomat down towards the Spanish large town over here first though. And this one can continue towards the port over here. Okay. I think that's everything done for this turn. Huge rebel army over here. I forgot to make a watchtower. I'll do it with this guy. He can just go down here. Right. Enter. This here is possibly going to be the biggest battle I've had yet. Faction destroyed Thrace. Thrace is now gone. End of turn report. New family member. And retaining complete. Indomus Dorsus Domus. Let's get rid of this. Oh my god. I didn't realise. I thought that was an empty rebel stack. Oh it is. I thought, oh my god, I had a heart attack then. Thought it might have been a full rebel stack. Just gonna kill him. Now we have control of the watchtower, and that gives us information actually on this settlement, so that's going to come in handy. Nice. Okay, meanwhile over here, probably do with making a watchtower just there, and then I'm going to move further up, build another one over here somewhere. Okay, let's get this diplomat next to the Spanish settlement. Might be worth trying to make peace with them if I can. Ceasefire? No, nope. no, nope, they don't want a ceasefire. They got a huge army on the way though. I have to be careful about that. Fortunately, I now have this army protecting my south coast. While these two armies walk into Gaul. This diplomat's going to go check these this port area. This is where I thought they might be coming from. 
let's bribe these guys so they don't attack me. Okay, we're going to continue past the fort. And he'll remain as a scout to uh, tell me what's coming. Still got rebels dotted about. It's annoying. Got this army we can't forget about. Unfortunately, though, the navy is stuck currently. So I'm going to have to build some more boats to help out. I've needed a bigger navy for a while, for a while, so I may as well start now. But it's this army I need to prepare for on this battle, should I say? Move that army there. Move that army there. We're going to uh, move this army back to build a watchtower. There we go. And if I can get some mercenaries for this guy. I can use him to take care of these rebels. But before we do that, I'm actually going to save the game just in case it crashes. And we're going to attack this army. So we have a huge advantage here, I think. A lot more men than they do. This third army of theirs isn't going to be in the battle. But we're fighting against the army I've looked at like a million times now. Warband, skirmishers, uh, skirmisher warband, swordsmen. And the only reason they're fully stacked is because they have some of the, these units with like 4 and 17 men. Which I should be able to route instantly. Then I've got a full stack plus a, like a half stack. So in my opinion I think this is going to go very well. So I'm going to keep this uh, under my control so I have com complete control over the battle. And we're going to fight this on the battle map. Hopefully I won't even need my reinforcing army, but we'll have to wait and see. Today is a good day to die, but better still to live. The bards will sing songs of brave deeds done well, and we will be the heroes of those songs. Yes, we will. Right. Now this front line looks okay, but I am going to make it a bit tighter. Keeping the war band together. And then the swordsman on the left and right. Uh, war dogs are going to stay in the middle. We've got the head hurlers and the slingers can sit in front. We've got our cavalry on the left, that can, that's fine. I'm also going to bring over these chariot archers on the left. The chief can stay in the middle along with this guy. So I might put him over to the left slightly as well with the rest of my cavalry. Okay, I think that's all good. That's, um, I think we're going to group this army. I'm going to not group the chariots though. Okay, cool. It's going to be a huge battle. Absolutely huge. So, reinforcements delayed and enemy reinforcements delayed. Oh, let's see how that affects the battle. So, I'm going to send my units to skirmish on the left. Barbarian warlord's going to move up behind the front line of my own men. begin to move the uh, cavalry forwards as well. 